Hey, what's up everyone? Aaron here and thanks for checking out today's vlog. Today we're going to be going over um, this company I told you I bought into is called Do Hard Money. It might be a little loud in the house. That's just because the kids are home today. It's Thanksgiving morning, so I'm trying to get this done real quick. But I wanted to show you guys um, everything that I'm going to be using with this company and to see if they're actually as good as they say they are because there is some bad information out there, of course, with good, but this is going to be my non-biased opinion. Uh, what attracted me to them was 100% financing. As long as your deal fits their criteria, they'll fund it 100%, which is nice for up to five months with three one-month extensions, and the interest-only payments are rolled into that. So the deal has to be really good, and the reason for that is because they work a lot with newer investors, and once you start doing some deals, the parameters change a little bit with them, but obviously they need to protect themselves uh, as much as possible because they're lending in a couple different areas. And the last thing they want to do is, you know, have somebody get a house under contract for 130. It's worth 150, but it needs uh, 10,000 repairs. So there's really not any profit there. But from what it seems like a lot of people had had reached out with them or, or bought into their system, had said, oh, you know, uh, you know, they don't like any of our deals. But if you go through their criteria, it really kind of makes sense as far as the deals, the way they're structured in order to make sure that you're protected to make some money and they're protected to make some money. But uh, one of the things I wanted to show you on their website today in the members area was the uh, tool and resource, the Investor's Edge software, but for whatever reason, it's not allowing me to log in. So I want to show you the advanced deal analysis. So here's a property address that I have in Connecticut that I'm really interested in. It's in a good town. It's a HUD home. So the comps in the area are uh, 240 and up. Now with their the way they analyze properties and to make sure you're pulling the same information there has to be comps with no more than a mile away i try to do no more than i try to do less than a half mile away when i pull my comps form no more than 90 days unless there's just no um nothing going on during that time as far as sales so they might push it out to uh you know a little bit more than 90 days and then they take the lowest of the comps uh as your after repair value that way they're you know the worst case scenario, if the lowest comp is 200, you're going to sell it for 200, even though there might be comps up into the 250s. So for here, we have um, my bid price is 125.5. We have an estimated repair cost of 10. 240 for the after repair value, that's one of the lowest comps. So then once you go to that, you go to the risk analysis part. I started answering some of these, but basically anything like uh, fire, mold, foundation problems, trust problems, uh, septic, or anything like that over 5,000, they're not going to fund it because that can turn into a huge can of worms. Then you're not going to be allowed to add or increase the footprint of the house, and you have to make sure it's a, a low to moderate um, crime area. Uh, there's no commercial properties within five blocks. There's less than 40% of rentals. No near any active railroad tracks. Let's see, methamphetamine. I'm going to say no. Uh, busy street, nope. Uh, it's in a development. No, it's not far away from town. No, it's not on a dirt road. None. No vandalism. And then it's not age restricted. And then after that, you want to go to the last tab here, the property. And you just want to go through these here. So it's a traditional site, uh, site built home. It's a single family home. Now, they, are, they, won't, um, they won't lend on commercial and stuff like that. This is mostly for single family and condos. Um, nobody's going to be living in the property. Uh, let me see. Pull up some proper information here. Let's see. We have three beds, one bath. And we're looking at 1,200 square feet just about. So three beds, one bath. Let's see, 1233 for square feet and lot size. I believe it's smaller, so we'll just do, uh, let's see here. I don't know what that converts into. I'd have to do that math. So we're just going to go 0 0.30. And then we can always change that if need be. It's not in a flood zone. And uh, I'm not doing any of the repairs myself. Now you can and they will pay you, but you still have to have contractors uh, bids for those jobs, wherever they might be. So once all that's filled in, you just hit calculate here. 
and it tells you it's been analyzed and so you can kind of let's see here so you can kind of play with the numbers uh, to make sure you're getting a good purchase price when you come down here now this one says it's 100% financing zero cash to close it breaks down everything for you um, what their interest is going to be what their closing costs the loan origination so that's where they're making their money and then you know there's the potential net profit of 56,000 so um, you know that's not it's not bad at all uh, you know so if I saw that and I said okay well you know what maybe I want to up my price a little bit maybe I want to do 130 230 something like that you hit calculate because right now it's at HUD for I think 180 uh, which it's been on the market for a while so I know it'll keep coming down all right, so let's see what this tells us now. Still qualified, but we're gonna need uh, $1,799 in order to close. And that'll just go through here and it explains to you exactly what that's gonna be. So there's gonna be some holding costs that you're gonna have to pay for out of pocket because it doesn't fit their criteria. But you can see if you do get it for like that, that other price I had, one, let's say the 12555, I think that's what I had it on. I don't remember now. Uh, slow internet today. I actually just upgraded our internet here at the house because it was it's been so slow with all the kids and stuff on there and their social media and videos and all that stuff. So let's let this load, see what it qualifies for, and then uh, you know that's that's pretty much how the analyzer works. All right, so again, now it qualifies for 100% financing. So if you get it around that price, and you can keep tweaking the numbers till you get the exact highest amount based on the repair costs or after repair value. So you can generate a PDF and email it to yourself, or you can submit this application. And what they'll do is they'll send somebody out from the local market. Uh, that is a fee to you. Uh, your first fee is included with your uh, initial enrollment into their program. And then after that, it's 650 every time. But from my understanding, from talking with them, if they send them out and let's say they send out, you know, two or three people to look at the property, they want to make sure that everybody's looked at the same numbers and has the same aspect. If some person is way off compared to you and the other person, they're going to send out one other person to kind of justify why the other person's numbers are off so much. So you're not really throwing away your $650. And from what I've seen that they've been able to work with people, if for some reason the, the property just doesn't work out, they'll you know give you a credit to use that towards the next one. So they're not making money on the $650. You know, they're, uh, they're basically having, uh, you know, somebody come out and verify your numbers to make sure nothing's being inflated or padded, which makes sense. You know, I would want that if I was lending money to somebody. So uh, then you submit the application. And since I haven't won this bid yet, I haven't submitted any applications. So uh, that's the investors uh, area here on the uh, members area for uh, do hard money and the advanced deal analysis. And uh, let me know if you have any questions down below. And hopefully this audio and video is halfway decent. I'm using my... Uh, my webcam here. I don't have my other camera set up because uh, I wanted to do the screen sharing. So I uh, hope this worked out for you. I hope it might answer some questions. And I believe you can use this analysis tool even if you're not a member. Uh, they let you come in and try it and uh, stuff like that. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, you guys found this somewhat informational. And then the next video, uh, once we get a deal under contract, we'll start putting stuff through and taking you through the whole process. All right. Thanks for watching and uh, we will uh, see you in the next video.